fraction of this square is blue. So, one thing you can notice from the diagram is that we've got these lines for the top side of the square. Now that means that those lengths are equal, and so we've got that the lengths of the top of this smaller triangle um, is half of the width of the square, and also half of the width of the blue triangle, which obviously is important that we can work that out because that's the fraction that is blue. So you want to start off by labelling the sides, and because we're looking at fractions of the total, it actually doesn't matter what we label the sides here. So what I've gone with is labelling the sides of the square as x, and so that means the top half of the square becomes a half x and a half x. Now. The next thing to notice about these two triangles is that actually we've got what's called alternate angles. Well, the top of the square and the bottom of the square are parallel sides. And so what we have got is some alternate angles. And I can show you that here. So we've got this uh, Z shape, uh, which forms an alternate angle. So this angle here and this angle here inside of the Z shape, they're going to be equal. So uh, those two angles are equal, but we've also got, if we get rid of that, we've got another Z-shape going the other way, which means that the other two angles are also equal, the top left and the bottom right. Two lines through that angle, because that angle is different from the previous one, and they're not going to be the same. These two, top left and bottom right, are the same. And then we have also got that this angle and this angle, the final angles in the two triangles, are also equal. Now, what that means, because we've got three angles that are equal, is that we've got similar triangles. And so what it would help us to think about now is to put these type triangles out separately, like this, and so we can then start comparing scale factors. Well, we know that the base of the smaller one is a half x and the larger one is x. Now that tells us that the scale factor uh, from the smaller one to the bigger one is a scale factor of 2. Okay, now what we then need to think about, well, the total height is x because it's a square. Now, what we've got is that the heights of each of these are split into a third and two thirds, okay? So this height here, this height here, well, the height of the blue triangle is be twice the height of this white triangle here, and so whatever this is, times by two, add it together will give us x, and so this white triangle's height is a third of the total, um, and the blue triangle is two-thirds of the total, so we've got two-thirds of x here, and we've got one-third of x here. Scale factor of two will still work there. Now, what we then need to do is finally work out the area of the blue triangle, and we've already got the area of the square, which is x squared. Okay, so, area of blue triangle is equal to um, two-thirds of x times by x, so half the base times the height, which gives me uh, two over six, which is one-third x squared. Now, the area of the square, well, that's easy, that's x squared. And what fraction of the square then is blue, well if we do uh, one third x squared divided by x squared we will get the answer, which is going to work out quite nicely, so a third x squared divided by x squared, because we want a third of, well we want the fraction of the square, gives you one third, and so that's the answer. I hope you enjoyed that video, um, and if you did, make sure to uh, like the video and subscribe to the channel, because uh, I make new videos every single week. Uh, so I will leave it there, I'll say goodbye, and I'll see you next week. Have a great day, bye-bye. Thank you for taking the time to watch my videos, I really appreciate it, and I really appreciate all the likes and everybody that subscribes to the channel. If you like this video, then there should be plenty more videos 
just up here. Uh, hopefully it's it's here. That's where it should be. The one that you want to watch next. Okay. See you in the next one. Bye bye.